Are you a new software engineer getting ready to start a job? Curious about what to expect and what your first day on the job is going to look like? Maybe your first week? As an engineering manager, I've interviewed and hired many engineers over my career. And if I could go back in time, I would give myself this advice. So I'll outline four different ways that you can hit that subscribe button. Wait, hold on. Oh, somebody really messed up the teleprompter. You stay classy, San Diego. I'm Ron Burgundy. I'll outline four expectations for new software engineers and let you know exactly what to expect on your first day. So let's get started. The first expectation is you should expect to learn a whole lot of information. You're going to need to know a little bit about the domain that your company is working in, who the players are, both internally and externally of the company, and you're going to have to figure out how best you're going to learn that information. Do you like to learn from videos, from books, talking to people, identifying how you learn best is going to be the way that you're going to gain that information the fastest. So if you don't know already, maybe taking a step back and saying, I watch a lot of YouTube videos to learn things, or I read blogs, or I read books to get that information. Try doing that and take that with you into your first day. You'll not only be expected to learn the domain, but also some technical skills. So there's no perfect candidate and you're gonna need to know some technical software as you go. And whenever you get into the job, again, know how best you learn, figure out what technologies or where you have gaps in those technologies and start learning. Uh, maybe you aren't as familiar with React or front-end development. Start with picking up a book on that, reading on the weekends, uh, trying to do exercises, maybe like some, some cones online or something like that. After that, find a mentor, either internal or external to the company. Uh, doesn't always have to be inside the company. So whoever you can find that is more experienced in the field and you want to pick their brain and get an understanding of you know where technology is going or how best you might solve this problem. Having that mentor can be a world of difference so that you have outside information and not have your manager be the one that's giving you feedback. The second one is everyone has imposter syndrome. I myself have imposter syndrome all the time and I'm not sure if I'm doing the right thing, but hey, we all go about it every day and we get better and better and we learn from getting feedback from others. So don't feel like you're alone in this and you were hired for a reason. You're meant to be there. Just keep going, keep learning and keep showing that you're advancing in your knowledge and making sure that you're having an impact on the organization. I've seen many software engineers come into the organization and be really worried about screwing up and not asking questions or learning as they go, and this is a detriment to them. So don't feel like you're alone in this, ask those questions, and keep going. On that topic, the number three expectation is you should be asking questions. No one views you as the expert, uh, you should take this opportunity as you're joining a new job or organization to ask great questions. And whenever people are rattling off different acronyms that maybe half the people in the room actually know, you should ask, hey, what is that acronym? What does you know ICE mean or whatever different acronym? Then you will know better. And also others in the room won't have to look that up and feel like they're super smart. As you ask those questions, you'll be smarter over time and you'll be able to understand the domain and tie the code or the technologies or the initiatives that the company is moving on to that domain. It's like a, a snowball effect of being able to learn more and more. So ask the questions. Don't feel like you have to sit back and look it up later. Ask the questions in the moment and you'll be better off for it. The last expectation that I'll outline here is you're not going to be given tasks that are above your pay grade or too complicated. Usually you'll have some kind of a mentor or your manager will be on the lookout for you. So utilize them. Don't feel like you got to figure it out all on your own. You know, do your own research, figure out where to get started. But if you get stuck along the way, it's okay to ask for help. It's actually probably expected that you would ask for that because the task that you're working on is in the bigger picture of where the company's moving. And so no one wants you to be stuck because at the end of the day, someone will have to come in and help or rewrite what you did if you went on the wrong path the whole way. So ask questions along the way and don't feel like you're in it alone. If you wanna learn more about software technology, subscribe to this YouTube channel and I'll have plenty more where this came from. And if you 
learned anything, like the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.